Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is April 18th, 2019. It's Thursday of Holy Week and the Abbey is shut down. So I've got, I've got a little time today. I've been gathering wax, man, since January I've been gathering wax. And today, since we got this little break in time, I'm going to go ahead and, and make another video on rendering the beeswax. And I really have a, a lot of wax. Got the kettle is already heated up. Put about three gallons of water inside of it. Put, put a brand new screen in the bottom of it. And I've got a ton of wax. So, the grace of God, in just a couple hours, we'll have all this wax melted down and poured into the bucket. And we'll have a um, few days of, of rest. And then we'll go ahead and reveal what this wax is looking like. So, I'm going to grab the camera, show you all what i got to melt down. And we'll get starting to rendering some wax. Let's wrangle rendering wax. <laughs> we have got some really, really nasty weather fixing to move in on us. It was hailing in Houston and wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour and it's moving our direction. So it's going to be here very shortly. So before that stuff gets here, we're going to go ahead and melt that wax. So this is what I've got. I've got a couple of containers with um, the, just wax in it. Some of them are cappings. Uh, some of it is just old, nasty, moldy, brood comb and then more two more ba uh, bags full of just brood comb so we're gonna go ahead and dump all this stuff into the kettle let me show you in the kettle got this thing is all fixed up ready to go you can see the steam running off of it so it's already fixing it uh, water's boiling almost so I'm just gonna be dumping this wax into the pot closing the lid and letting it do its thing all right let's dump some wax into this nice shiny kettle huh All right, I've got I've got this thing is full right now. I've still got three more buckets to put in here, so I'm gonna let this melt down a little bit, and then I'll add some more. So the Abbey may be shut down, but the bakery they're still baking bread, and it's Thursday, and that's their bake day. So what I want to show you out here, not the bakery shop, but the Purple Martins. They are building nests um, all all into into their boxes. So I'm gonna zoom in on one of these houses. We have got probably about 30 mating pairs at back here, maybe even more now. So we've got there, look at this. And what they're doing, they're building their nests right now. They're underneath this tree. They're under this tr they're under this tree right here, building building up, picking up material to build their nests that is just so cool and listen to them I do love the Martins well there it all is <laughs> I did finally get it all in there I do a little packing down, but it's all in there. It is a lot of wax, folks. That is a lot of wax. So it's probably going to take at least, oh, I don't know, 40 minutes for this stuff to start cooking down. So we'll check back with it in about 40 minutes or so. Maybe an hour. Who knows? We'll see. All right. I got a little distracted. I was over in the honey hut working, and Tom got away from me. And it's been almost, well, it's probably been about an hour and 15 minutes since I checked on our wax right here. I know it's going to be done. So let's go open up the top and I'll show you what it's looking like. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wax melts at about 145 degrees. And since it's boiling, we know we hit 212. <laughs> but everything is out. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, the church bell is ringing for our office. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain this real quick while the bells are ringing and get this thing into the bucket.
So as that stuff finishes draining out, I'm headed over to the church. And when I get back, I'll show you what's going on inside that kettle. And it's not pretty. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. So the wax is still coming out of there. Let's look what is inside under the lid. Yeah, that's pretty nasty looking in there. So what I'm going to do with this stuff, while it's still warm, I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the compost pile and break it up right now. Because it's a lot easier to break up at this point. All right, so let me take this thing out of here. And there it is, all that cocoons and some wax up in there, but very, very little wax left in there. Any of that yellow stuff, that's the wax. It looks very, very good. Inside of a kettle, yeah, we got some mess in there too, but it's all really clean. And, <laughs> and then the little wax that was dripping out of here. Let's break that off of there. A little st stalactite. <laughs> Perfect. Right, so we're going to pull that bucket out and see what our water wax mixture looks like. So here it is on Friday, Good Friday. And remember yesterday I told you all that that weather was coming through and we had a lot of wind yesterday, a lot of rain. And when it came through, boy, our temperatures dropped down. So we're, we're at least 25 degrees cooler right now than we were yesterday. That's why I got my sweater on today. But I'm right next to the kettle, it's on, so there's a little bit of heat coming off of here, so it's really nice. So, what am I going to do today? I'm going to show you the, the, the wax that's dried up, and we're going to refine our wax one more time. So I'm going to grab the camera, show you the state that the wax is in right now, and now we're just going to drop it into our kettle and, and refine it one more time. Now, I know I said I was going to take care of all this cocoon stuff yesterday while it was still warm and loose but that rain I mean that rain came down and I could not even get outside so it's still here and now I'm gonna have to break it up but this is the wax I ran this strainer um, right from the from the kettle to my bucket to catch some of the bigger stuff and this was the wax that's left out of out of that and here is the the wax in in the bucket so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wax in this bucket and I'm going to dump it out, clean it off a little bit, drop it into the kettle, and I'm going to take this wax right here, clean it, clean it off a little bit, and then drop it into the kettle again, and we're going to melt everything one more time. So let's go ahead and start cleaning this mess up. All right, that's good enough. So I'm gonna hose all this stuff out and uh, we'll pick it back up inside by the kettle. Well, that took a lot longer than I thought it would take to clean up all that wax. I bet I was doing that 20, 25 minutes cleaning that up. But we've got it really cleaned up really nice. And look at the block here. Oh my goodness. This is every bit, I'm guessing, but somewhere between 12 and 15 pounds of wax right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So what I'm going to do, I have to set it down so it's too heavy and balance it. I'm going to open up my lid and I've got my water is already boiling in there. And I'm going to slide this thing in here because I don't want it to be splashing on me and causing me to get burned. Alright, 
we got our block in there and then in this bucket this is all the the you know the smaller pieces of wax I've cleaned up they're all in here and we're going to dump them in here as well and this is the dirtiest this is a lot more dirty than that and so this is why we're really processing it one more time to filter out all this dirt on this stuff to refine that wax a little bit more I'm just going to pour that into there and we're going to let this thing cook it's going to take easily it's going to take 45 minutes to an hour to melt this block of wax. And while this stuff is melting down, running down, I'm headed back upstairs and I'm gonna start answering comments from the last video. So we'll check back in a little bit. Ryan is in here, he's you know guiding me on this adventure, and he said, oh, You forgot to show the the wax inside the kettle. So here's what Brother Brian wanted me to show y'all. The big chunk of wax and all the little chunks of wax. And I should have showed you that the water was, was clear, and now it's already has that taint to it. But in about an hour or so, it'll all be melted down. So we'll check back later. All right, it's been about oh, 45 minutes. So let's um, go ahead and check to see what, what we're looking like. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's already all melted down. There is nothing in here. I'll grab the camera. And, uh, show you what what it looks like this is really pretty in here and there it is our wax all melted it looks looking really really good so I've got the bucket set up I'm gonna run it through the strainer once more and that'll take out any bigger stuff it'll still have the finer stuff on it but we'll run it through there and let it set up let's open up that gate and here's the result from the second straining I thought this bucket was going to be big enough, but I had added too much water into it, so I had to use that little bucket right there. So we're going to let this stuff sit overnight, and tomorrow I'll come back and show you what this stuff looks like. Oh, I wish you could smell it. This stuff is, smells so good. See you tomorrow. And here is the effect of that wax cooling. Like I said, I would have loved to get all this in one bucket, but miscalculation, and I had to get it in two. So let's go ahead and dump this out on the ground and see the chunk of wax that comes out. Woo, it's going to be fun. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the big reveal, huh? This is just a little chunky little block. That ain't nothing. This one, just a little bit of wax. That's not, that's not much. You've got some in the bottom. But here's the big guy right here. This is going to be the nice one. Now, folks, that's what I call a chunk of wax. This thing is every bit of 15 pounds. All I got to do is scrape off a little bit of this nasty stuff on the bottom. Look, the bees are flying around here right now. This stuff smells fantastic. It's so clean smelling. And the bees, like I said, they're already showing up. And that is it. Oh, man. Who wouldn't want that? I know I do. I know our bees do. So we got two really nice chunks of wax from all that wax we rendered. So that's all I got for you in this one. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video. Well, just like all these are swarms that Mr. Ed's caught. I want pictures of your swarm as well. I mean, it's so great to have all of you all sending in your pictures of the swarm catches. But my most important thing I want y'all to remember, I want your face in the picture of that swarm. You're going to have to get your face in the picture of that swarm to be able to get it on the video because we, we don't want to have any kind of uh, humbug going on saying, oh, I, I got that picture off the internet and so that's a swarm. So we want your face in that picture. 
So thank you everybody for sending in your pictures and joining in with the fun that me and the Dirt Rooster are having. It really is a lot of, it's getting a lot of attention and you all are the reason for it. So keep sending them in and I'll keep posting them.